Hello, everybody, and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43. That's right. I didn't die. I'm still here. I took a week off streaming and everybody lost their minds. Hello, everybody. <laughs> welcome back. We're going to be out of here having fun. But before we get started, I just want to say that uh, thoughts and prayers go out to all those people down in Mexico that have been affected by this this ridiculous hurricane that came through and uh, tore everything up down there, man. I, I really do feel for you guys because there is no warning. And that goes for like most of like most of the world. Like um, here in the U.S., we're used to having hurricanes and stuff come through. And Mexico's no stranger to hurricanes and stuff either. Uh, but the rate at which this storm strengthened and land uh, made landfall uh yesterday or this morning uh was actually insane so uh there's it's from what i understand it's going to be catastrophic down there so thoughts and prayers go out to all of you guys down there um it, it's never it's never fun uh seeing these ridiculous storms pop up out of nowhere um and, and just ransack entire entire communities just completely wiped off the earth so uh just keep everybody in your thoughts and prayers folks because it's gotta it, it's gotta be bad i i can't i haven't seen any pictures yet but i i just know that the the storm exploded from relatively mediocre status to like category five and made landfall so and hit i want to say they said it hit a uh city of over a million people in it so i mean i can i can only imagine so uh just just as a, a heads up for everybody in chat, you know, maybe maybe keep keep our, our brothers and sisters down there in Mexico in your thoughts and prayers as they have to uh, clean up and, and hopefully hopefully not too many people were killed, even though I would imagine it's probably not it's probably not a good thing. Uh, kind of reminds me of Hurricane Katrina. If you guys remember that, like obviously Hurricane Katrina one of the biggest problems with it, not only was it like a storm that just exploded really quickly, but obviously where it hit made a big, big difference because obviously with New Orleans being below sea level and it flooded over the levees and all that, and the flooding is what made Hurricane Katrina even worse. But I'm just saying like, it's, it's got that kind of vibe to it. It went from being a, okay, we should probably pay attention to this storm to what the hell is that? You know, that sort of thing. Um, so just keep, keep them in your thoughts and prayers guys, cause that, that's rough. Um, let me get this party started. Atomic coming in re-upping for 23 months. Jason coming in re-upping for eight months. Travis coming in and re-upping for five months. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you guys. Uh, let's see who we got in chat real quick. We got Aaron bike. We got Ender. We got void. We got a, we got Y cat. Rogues in the chat, Legit's in the chat, Toller Todd, Johnny Olmino, Brandon Maston, uh, Jackson Tractor, Smeefy, The Killer Nick, Talking Head, Captain Steve, Bryce, uh, Travis, obviously, Joey, Daniel, True, Christian, Dakota, Master Yoda, that, that rhymes. I kind of like that back to back. Lucian. Who else we got? Your FBI agent. Uh oh. I didn't do it. I swear. It wasn't me. I'm a dork. Y'all, I don't know why y'all put up with me. Uh, nuked one. Uh oh. I already know where that's going. Lord have mercy. Dardar. How's it going? Captain Steve. I think I already called that one out. Ave. Good to see you. I want to get through chat real quick. I jumped on, mate. Jim, I see you as well. BM, I see you. Iridium, good to see you guys. Uh, Sin, I'm going to call you. Because <laughs> I, I, I re every time I read the last part of your name, everybody in chat yell at me. Okay? So we'll just call you I Sin. How about that? <laughs> um, who else is out here? We got JD. How's it going? Um, Mike 21, Yair, I think I already called you out, Lorne, good to see you, oh my god, every time I think I get caught up, the chat jumps another, like, page and a half, <laughs> uh, where are we at, uh, Captain Darkness, sauce on him, I hear you there, 
I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of hungry now. Uh, let's see. Let's be honest, everything made me hungry. New Type, how's it going? Brandon TJ, how's it going? Oh, uh, Jopa, Stephen Fox, Water Draw, Yetum, and we're finally caught up, Randy Duncan. Good to see you, my dude, Slammy in the house. All right, that's that's me caught up, okay? Now, that's the last time I'm going to look at stream the entire time. Oh, wait. <laughs> that's not true. Probably not. But okay, let's be honest. It's a little true. Uh, we're going to get this party started. Let's go get our free crate. You guys know the deal. Go get our free crate if I didn't already get my free crate. I already got my free crate. Never mind. What do we want to start it with? Now, I know that this is not a Mexican ship, but it's the closest thing we have to it here in uh, World of Warships Legends. It's a Brazilian ship, and I know they don't speak Spanish. They speak Portuguese, I believe, but I'm going to take the Atlantico out for a romp. It's the closest thing we got. I'm sorry. Let's go. So what's on the agenda? I don't know. Just having a good time, guys. Like, I ain't got anything special planned. I don't know. Though, everybody's been asking me if I'm going to play the uh, Halloween event and stuff, and I don't know. I don't know. I've been playing that, the mode. I know they, I think they made some changes to it this year, but uh, I just get, it's so repetitive. It really is. It's so repetitive. Such a grind. I don't, I don't know. Ah, we're just going to have a good time. Is there anything wrong? We go have good time. No? <laughs> Let's go, baby. For those of you who don't know, um, I actually, I have a lot of friends uh, from Mexico because I used to work with a lot of people from Mexico and uh, so I have a I have a bit of a soft spot in my heart for for Mexican people um, and a lot of people probably don't realize this being in Ohio you don't expect that to run into a lot of uh, Mexican people but that's not true like we actually have quite a few Mexican people living in Ohio um, and we have we have I mean they work in all different all different areas of uh, working too the ones that I actually worked with um, the most were okay um, the ones that I, I ran into the most was um, or I worked with the most was when I worked at a company called um, Rarig Pacific Logistics it was a pallet sorting company uh, and recycling company for um, Walmart. They, they did other com companies as well, but Walmart was their primary supplier uh, uh, of pallets and stuff. But while I was there, like, I, I, I worked with a lot of... Uh, actually, there's a whole bunch of different countries that I worked with, but the primary primary country that we worked with was uh, Mexico, and, or Mexicans. And they are some of the funniest, hardest working people you will ever work with in your life. I promise you. I promise you. I would have given up any one of my fat fucking American dudes <laughs> to, to get me to get to get a, uh, a Mexican partner any day of the week. Like, those, those guys are fantastic to, to work with, man. They are the funniest, the funniest people you ever work with. I promise you. Oh, look, it's an Atlantico. Also... Also a broadside Wichita going in reverse, so we're going to try to take advantage of that. Oh, we caught him! Oh, he's... Wait, that was where our shot... Oh my god, we were way off. I thought those were our shots that were landing. That was the cruisers. We got a Suja and a Wichita. This is bad news for our Atlantico, if I'm being honest. Oh my god. There. That was not the the Atlantico that just hit me. Somebody hit me from over on the right. Torpedos a este bordo. Oh no. Oh. 
That Atlantico didn't hit me for 20k. That was somebody on the right side lobbing that island. Oh! This is not a good start to our stream. Let's go. Oh my god. I hate Wichita's, man. I hate them. They're all the same. They all play like little bitches. There it is. It's a Kansas. And it's British Ninja. Literally can't play one game. Literally not allowed to play a single game. One game. Can't play a single game without having everybody stream sniping. Like one fucking game, man. It never fails. It never fails. Like I can't get in and play one fucking game. Ain't streamed in over a week. Can't play one fucking game without having stream snipers. First fucking game in. First motherfucking game. We got Mega Spartan. We got fucking uh, Diablo out here. We got British Ninja. It's the whole fucking lot of them. Diablo, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He's not one of the ones I normally see stream sniping. So we'll give him a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. But fucking British Ninja, fucking Mega Spartan, y'all all the same. Y'all all the same. Every fucking stream, man. God, I can't stand that shit, dude. Can't stand it. This is why I don't that's why I don't like to stream this game. Like this is straight up why I don't like to. Like you can't have any fun, because every fucking game, not only are you dealing with the dumbest fucking people on the planet, but you gotta deal with everybody on the enemy team stream sniping you. It's not a fun experience. It's fucking obnoxious, man. I wish these people get a life. I really do. Like, I wish that they would come up with something else to do rather than just follow me around and wait for me to start streaming. Like, good lord, man. I'm not allowed to play. I'm not allowed to have any fun, man. I just want to have a good time. Come on, Atlantico, turn. I love that every one of his shells lands. And then I land five, five shells for 11k. He just sails straight, takes it, and gets away with it. I actually try to dodge and every one of his shells lands. Okay, what is he going to do? Come on. Of course, our Georgia goes down already. Of course, he does. I'm not there to take the hits, so of course they do. And of course, the mines is right behind him. So it's just me versus literally half the enemy team. Fantastic. Me versus literally half of the enemy team. Two DPM cruisers, two good battleships. Just me. And they just immediately turn and run. Torre principal com dano crítico. It's not even fun, man. It's like it's it's not even a good time. I mean, just straight get fucked over. Go, go murder him, secondaries. Just do your thing. <laughs> Two fucking kitey ass fucking DPM cruisers. Border humping. Just fucking wasting my time. Welcome back to World of Warships Legends. Isn't it such a good time? Are we not entertained? I'll be honest with y'all. I've been playing literally everything except this game. I, I've legitimately not been playing this game. Can't break contact because it's a small map and all these fucking cruisers are here. I might as well try to get one good shot out of here to fucking Kansas. Of course.
universe. I don't get it. Despite his superstructure being above the island, he gets to shoot me. Well, there you go. Great game. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I will catch you guys streaming. next time, I guess. What's the point of even bothering to play? I fucking... I, I, I hate this shit. I, I, I hate it. I hate... I shouldn't have to do this. I legitimately should not have to do this, guys. I wish that there was a way that I could, like, ban these people from getting into games with me. I really do. I would. I would do it in a heartbeat. Because I'm tired of it. Like, four years of this shit. You'd think they would stop. But they don't. They never do. They've got literally nothing better to do. Not even one game. Not one game. Can't, can't start the stream off and get one game without having everybody trying to get in. It's so annoying. Let me get caught up with chat, guys. I apologize. Uh, a, thank you for three months, my dude. Travis, I think I called you out, but uh, thank you for five months. Ender, thank you for five gifted memberships times two. Appreciate you, my dude. Get some goats in it. Oh, my God. Alan Lucas dropping a $50 bomb. Thank you, my dude. And I apologize that this is what you guys get. I, I try. I try to bring, like, a fun, entertaining fucking stream for you guys. And it's just every fucking time, man. This is the Double most toxic stops. god dang fucking gaming community I've ever been a part of when it comes to stream sniping. I don't understand it. You don't see this with any other fucking streamers out there. It's just World of Warships. I don't understand it. It's like every fucking game. They gotta get in every game. It's nine versus nine, and five motherfuckers on the enemy team will be fucking people watching the stream. It's like, really? <sighs> I don't know. I try to I try to bring it back around for you guys. You guys know that. I try. But man, that shit gets old. It just gets old. I feel like it's literally every stream. I can't get away from these fuckers. Enemy force on no matter the what I do. Enemy battleship sighted. Aim high here. Good shot from the battleship. Of course, my shells just split both sides of the ship. Wouldn't want to hit the thing in the middle now, would we? Like I said, it's not even that I gotta deal with, like, I gotta deal with all the same stupid shit that everybody else gets to deal with in World of Warships, and then it's amplified by the fact that literally half the fucking people in the lobby are watching the stream. And they'll go out of their way to come fuck with me. Like, who takes a fucking Kansas spawned in the middle of the map, sails all the way across the fucking map just to shoot at a fucking battleship? Who does that? Nobody. Nobody does that. Because it's stupid. Ooh, Spartan. I didn't mean to get in your game. I just happened to get in your game every time you log on. No matter what day. No matter what time. No matter what tier. No matter how you try to hide your screen. It just happens. I don't know. Oh, there's obviously a destroyer right here. Hmm. There's two destroyers here. One's on this side and the other one's over there. What are we looking at? A skein and a mayhem. Okay, could just be a Colorado then. sticking his nose back out here. Alright, so Colorado's contesting. 
destroyers in the middle of the map. See if we can't come around and help thin the herd a little bit. versus Nizno. Nizno should win that fight. Question mark. I got two more battleships to think about here. Plus the Aoba. Plus the destroyer nearby. Colorado does go down. As Our expected. team has taken the lead. Okay, we're gonna wait for this Byron to come around the corner here. <sighs> hits I like that the crews are shooting me hey shooting AP too out of a fucking Aoba at a battleship all right let's see if we can't help with this little turd Watch that shit spread out. As if, as if the the freaking destroyers aren't like the smallest ships on the planet, but like you get the worst RNG when shooting at them too. I mean, it's a mayhem. It's not the worst thing to have to deal with. It's got short range torpedoes. It's more of a gunboat than anything. Good hits on uh, Byron. And he goes down. Our team has taken the lead. The Benson somehow robs that kill, brothers. Love to see it. See if we can't help with this Aoba here. Nice work. Hmm. He's turning in. This Benson going whole ham over here, which is kind of annoying. I need him alive. What is this guy doing? Is he going to turn all the way back in? All right. Let's see if we caught him. I think we got him. Ladies and gentlemen. Ah, he turned back in. We did, we did aim it well, but uh, unfortunately... He got angled. All right, so we have New Mexico out here to contend with. We have the Aoba. We have their destroyer right off my freaking front here somewhere. North Carolina, too. Forget about that. Now, we do overmatch this Aoba, so I'm not too particularly worried about it. That's a better shot. I'm more worried about- oh, he's still fucking hanging out there? What kind of a doofus is this guy? This little fucker is still sitting in his smoke screen right there. Well, we're gonna turn away from him. This New Mexico shooting HE. You're dead to me, New Mexico. You're just dead to me. I have no respect for you. Torpedoes to port. Who the fuck spams HE out of a goddamn New Mexico, man? Problem is, it's not just him, it's a fucking Aoba, too. I need to save my fucking destroyer from the Aoba. Torpedoes to right front. These are Aoba. It's okay, Spartan. Stream sniper suck. But we all love learning and watching. 
You are a good teacher. Thumbs up. Come on, baby. We missed it. Not ideal. Okay, there goes the fires. I am going to murder this North Carolina... The North Carolina shooting AG! What are these people doing with their lives? Also, going broadside to me is a very bold strategy in the North Carolina. What is this fucking low time? Let's go! Get your guns loaded, bitch! Fire alarm! Bunch of fucking HE slinging battleships getting a fire every time they shoot that shit. Shoot it! I'm going double fire it again! About to have my fucking heel back. All stations requesting fire support. What's my hair for? Of course, I leave them alive. You know, killing these little turd burglars that are just sailing broadside, that'd be too much to ask. Problem solved, sir. Our victory is in sight. Okay, he goes down. Get fucked! All y'all HE slamming motherfuckers! I got this! Next time, load some armor piercing, my guys. Little bit of armor piercing in your life. <laughs> you should try it sometime. It's an amazing concept for a battleship. Really does come in handy. Little turds in your fucking HE slinging. Who the fuck loads in in a North Carolina and a fucking New Mexico and thinks, yeah, I think I'm just going to throw out some HE. <laughs> like, what the hell? All right, let me go ahead and hide the screen. Uh, Mighty Moose coming in with the $5. Thank you so much, my dude. Glad you enjoy, man. And for the 20 gifted memberships as well, man. Y'all, we got to get some goats in the chat. I don't know if I, I forgot. Y'all got to get some goats in the chat for everybody already. And Alan, thank you so much again. Alan, Mighty Moose, uh, Ender, A... Travis, Jason, Atomic, thank you guys so much, man. All right. All right, we back. I'm going to make sure that I don't forget to unhide the screen. Who we got in the chat? We got Tristan. Wheel of Fortune time? Nah, we're not doing the wheel this week. Um, Alan, glad you dropped in. K uh, Caterman, good to see you. Santiago, Headhunter, good to see you. Caterman coming in re-upping for seven months as well. Get some goats in the chat for Caterman as well. Psych, how's it going? Baklava, good to see you. And I do apologize, guys. Like, I don't like to come in and bitch like I do sometimes. But you guys, like, I don't even get a single game in and I'm already having to fucking hide my screen because everybody's being a, a fucking annoying little twat waffle. Like, really? Like, I'm not even allowed one game. Not allowed one game. Just straight immediate stream snipers. And it isn't just one, it's multiple. Like, what the hell, man? What did I do Action to you stations. people to make you so fucking upset with me that you have to try to follow me around and ruin my stream? Every stream. Like, what What did I do? Where did I fucking hurt you, man? Put it on the fucking little, like, chart. Point out on the chart where I fucking hurt you. Good lord. <laughs> Jessica coming in with another $50 bomb. Y'all are crazy. Thank you, Jessica, so much. Y'all crazy out here. Benjamin, good to see you. Smokey, I see you as well. Nate Porter, good to see you. Uh, watch the hashtag there, Nate. 
Like, please, guys, let, let's let's not put that hashtag in chat. That's something that could get you in trouble with YouTube. <laughs> just warning you. I'm not gonna take it down. I'm just saying, don't don't spam it, cause that that's something that might trigger YouTube's uh, algorithm to eat you, and I don't want that to happen. <laughs> let's let's keep the the hashtags to a uh, you know. Okay. Remember, it isn't just my moderators that that troll the chat. You gotta watch out for the YouTube algorithm out there. Depending on what you type, sometimes the uh, YouTube algorithm will yeet people into oblivion. I don't want that to happen to anybody watching my streams. I, you can have hashtags. Like, that's not the thing. I'm just saying, like, there are specific hashtags that, you know, you should probably, like, mind the hashtag a little bit. Because I don't know what the, the algorithm's going to pick up on for, uh, like, violating YouTube terms and services in the chat. So just keep that in mind. Enemy but I do know that uh, YouTube does have a tendency to uh, just randomly ban Enemy people for, like, spamming certain things in chat. There's one destroyer in the entire lobby. It's a Monahan. I'm not particularly scared of a Monahan, if I'm being honest. Two New Mexicos. Three New Mexicos. I got an entire god darn fleet of New Mexicos, huh? If only I had some spotting. What about me? Love you, Spartan. Alright, I guess I'm gonna turn away here. I don't remember what the range of the Monahan's torpedoes are. Uh, we're just gonna bide our time. Not much we can do. We finally got a shot away, guys! Look at us! Yeah, there's the torps. <laughs> kinda kinda figured that was coming. Get back! Wait, what the fuck is the range of these motherfuckers? The answer is yes, apparently. Hull breach! We're taking on water quickly! Jesus God, dude! What is the fucking range of a lot of hands torpedoes? Twenty kilometers? Good lord! Fucking widespread fucking torpedoes landed every fucking one of them. Took half my health from fucking twenty kilometers away. Meanwhile, I got a fucking repulse sitting right there on the other side of the island from him. We've been spotted. Hey, nine kilometers away. So he must get... He must get fucking long-range torpedoes. I swear to God, if he gets a fire, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. I've literally got every goddamn battleship on the map over here. Plus, I've got a cruiser that just fucking wants to yeet himself into oblivion. And the destroyer. I mean, fair play to the cruiser. He did manage to hit the fucking New Mexico, but now he dies. Lob a shot over the island, maybe get a little bit of damage here. Not enough. Dude, we are we're in trouble here. I need teammates and we don't have any. We've lost three teammates. They haven't lost a single person. And we've got all of their firepower on this side of the map. Attention. Reporting a target's position. This is what we call not ideal. Go for superstructure, upper side plating. That was terrible. If somebody doesn't kill this goddamn New Mexico that has no health, I'm gonna like lose my shit. Like, we have people there. Clearly, they're spotting the guy. So somebody should be able to shoot that little bastard. Obviously, this guy is interested in shooting me, so we're gonna turn away. 
fuck. He gets the most accurate shit on the planet, and I get that. Nine point one five kilometers unmoded. Fucker goes dark the moment I go to shoot. Him. Dude, we are so fucked. Like, there is nothing I can do here. Enemy battleship sight. Just keep going away from him, I guess. Dude, we can't even get the fucking accuracy to actually do some damage here. Like, I would love to do some damage, but I am getting, like, the worst RNG you've ever seen. My God, bless America. Can I get some accuracy, please? I don't ask a lot, man. Just a little bit of accuracy. Look at that shit. Four shells out of 12. Yeah, this guy's still a long ways away, so we don't have to worry about him. I need to get rid of this guy, since he's low health. Might end up switching to HE. In fact, I think I will. Because I am getting shitty fuck. Look at that dispersion! It's tragic, man! It's fucking tragic! Like, can I please get some shells to land on the fucking thing that I'm shooting at? It's too little to- my team has collapsed. Like, we ain't got nothing. And then meanwhile, this guy's landing every fucking shell. Like, I'm getting the worst dispersion on the planet. This guy's landing every shell. I, I switch to HE and this guy's like going and doing the fucking red knot shuffle and shit. Let's wait, wait for his fucking ship to stop his little fucking drift he's on. Look at that fucking accuracy. Yeah, that checks out, doesn't it? Can't fucking hit him with AP, but as soon as I switch to HE, suddenly the fucking accuracy hits him with every goddamn shell. Weird how that works. If I'd have landed AP there, he'd be dead. He still has his rear gun. Like, I'm not an idiot. I know he could kill me here. It should be him dead. Switch him back. You fucking kidding. I hate this. I hate everything about this. I ain't gonna lie. I hate everything about it. This guy has been alive for way too fucking long. He does not deserve it. He has not played well enough to deserve fucking living through this shit. Our team depends on you. No fucking shit, Sherlock. I haven't noticed. Haven't noticed. I know there's another battleship over here somewhere, and I know that the fucking Monahan is hunting my ass. ends in five minutes. Fucking get me out of this fucking game, man. Not only do we have to deal with the fact that, like, our team was tragic, but we had the worst RNG I have ever seen out of my New Mexico. Like, literally couldn't get shells to land for nothing. Like, that is just unreal when it comes to the RNG. Unreal!
Nah, it wasn't the torps that I was worried about at that point. Like, it literally he just spots me. He doesn't even have to do anything. He just spot me. He's got 80 fucking battleships versus one guy. Like, there's no chance. Uh, they didn't, they definitely didn't nerf the US 14 inch guns. It's just fucking bad RNG. Uh, Jessica with another $5, 9.15 kilometers unmodded. Nice. Nice. Uh, definitely underestimated him. He's got fucking like Benson torps on that bitch. Definitely underestimated the range of his torpedoes. You just don't run into a Monahan very often. So it's one of those ships I just don't know right off the top of my head. All right, what do we got? Shima Z44. Couple of Kerr first, no Montana, or no, uh, yeah, no Montana, no Yamas. Could be fun. Could be fun, could be painful. Giuseppe, how's it going? Bear, good to see you. That was a bad line. I don't know what you're talking about. Kusowski, how's it going? Ashley Peters, what's up? What's up and why the black screen? Because I literally am not allowed to play the game without having everybody trying to, uh, like, farm me every stream. And you're one of them, so, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just deal with it for three or four hours. Sorry. I want to have a decent time. I don't want to have a bunch of stream snipers jumping in my games and trying to ruin my stream every fucking time I stream. You know, the same, the usual. Both our destroyers going to the same location on the map, so we don't get any spotting. Not sure why my workout partner is calling me. I mean, we're not spotted and nobody's in the Charlie cap. Then again, nobody's in any of the caps. So, I don't like going behind this island, but I'm not going to go out in front and get caught up by everybody on the enemy team because nobody wants to do anything. So, yeah, there's us being spotted there in the Charlie cap now. All right, I'm going to loop back. I'm not going around the island. This cruiser is not going to do anything. Why are you fucking radaring here? This, this is why I don't play legendary. This is exactly why. This guy has no fucking clue what the fuck he's doing. No clue. This is why I don't play legendary tier. This is... God, it's so stupid. Oh, there's a destroyer 30 kilometers away. Let me use that radar. It's real effective. Unbelievable, man. Have I tried hiding my mini-map too? Meh. Destroyer's right here. Looks like their battleships kind of went. <laughs> and look, the fucking guys that are with me, they're they're just going to follow me, right? Like they can't they can't do anything for themselves. They 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 were going to go that way because I was going that way. Now I've doubled back. Now they're doubling back. The Alaska's charging in after he burned his fucking radar for no reason. Meanwhile, the destroyers on this side of the map, and I guarantee it's a fucking Shimakaze. <laughs> We've got cap advantage, so as long as 
As long as we don't do anything crazy, we should win this side. If the destroyer is hunting me, which I'm pretty sure he is at this point. Okay, there's the Shima. Don't have a shot, unfortunately. Didn't land. Watch, now the Alaska won't even get into cap. Like, there ain't nothing over there. Will he at least get into the cap? Dude, he's just sailing along the cap. No, not a care in the world. All right, you, you need to stop saying negative, my dude. You clearly don't know what the fuck you're talking about either. Look at him. Look at this guy. He's like, oh, well, I can't be bothered. I sailed all the way around this corner to try to get into the cap. The destroyer left, so now instead of moving into the cap, utilizing the island cover that's there, I'm just going to uh, turn and run, stay broadside to everybody on the team, lose all my hit points, because this is legendary tier gameplay at its finest. Legendary tier gameplay at its absolute finest, guys. Perfect example. So he's just going to let these guys keep that cap. And now he's got this cap. So now they have the two cap advantage. This guy, despite having the little bastard spotted initially and seeing him lose a good chunk of his hit points, isn't going to press the issue, try to keep him spotted so we can get rid of him. <sighs> you just... There's no... He's radaring again. He's radaring again. You can't make this shit up, man. You can't. You can't make this shit up. <laughs> it's too stupid. It's too stupid. You can't make it up. Oh, we had a, we had a spot for a moment. Pops in and out of existence. As soon as I take the shot, he drops spot, shoots the island. Get that Arthur's boost going. Put out the single fire. The Z44 should die on the left side. Yama's requesting support because he just pushed right out into everybody. Kill the Z. Now we just got a couple of curfers out here. That's gonna hurt a lot. He's lobbing me from left field. We know that they're. Surely the repo's got that guy, right? Let's make sure of it. Say negative now, motherfucker! Say negative now! 
You're welcome. All right, let's get rid of this little turd. And use our Arthas, get a little extra damage here. Should be a dead GK. Don't worry, sunshine. I'm ready for your dumbass too. Overpins though. Okay, he's gonna die. We're just gonna anticipate. The rear guns on target. Come on. We did it. We do what we gotta do. I like that the rape you bleak. Because he gets a he gets a cap, right? Like this guy gets a cap, and that's all it takes to be top of the leaderboard above me. I mean, I didn't do a lot of damage, but I did a lot to fucking help the team. Where's the Alaska? Oh, shocker! He's all the way down here. Who could have seen that coming? I would have never have guessed. <laughs> Lord have mercy. All right, I gotta get caught up on chat again. Give me a second. Uh, Devil Dog coming in, re-upping for 11 months. Thank you so much, my dude. Chris James coming in with the $10 super sticker. Appreciate you, man. Mighty Moose with another $2 have beat all the Halloween challenges. I haven't even played the Halloween challenges, my dude. I haven't even played the Halloween challenges. But, uh, we got Miranda in the chat. What up, Miranda? Kang, good to see you. Blackbeard, I see you as well. Shark, good to see you. Legends Hunter, how's it going? A-Train, how's it going? Good to see you. Now that I know your name from Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel Monday, it doesn't, it, it's not a tarin It's actually supposed to be A-Train, so what up? Bob, good to see you. Aiden, good to see you. Appreciate you dropping in. Bravo, Foxtrot, in the house. Hola. Hola, amigo. All right. Oh, man. That's just unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> That's just real unfortunate. Wow. Yugamo, Kaba, Claber, and Daring. This is a rough day. Not even that, just a Des Moines 2 to throw in there for good measure. A little gross occur for a schlieff in action as well. Just like straight up worst case scenario for a fucking Shiba. Ouch. <laughs> Who watches the boys anyway? Anybody in here? Have you guys been watching the Gen V? Like I I actually like at first, I was like, okay, this is just stupid. But it's actually got a decent story, so I've kind of been kind of been drawn into it. It's not bad. Not bad. I still prefer the boys, obviously, but Gen V's not a bad little uh, spinoff to bide your time in between. Just every fucking one of them. <sighs> really, dude? Every one of them. You try to go for area denial, a dude just comes right across your bow and eats every one of your torpedoes. What up, Eli? How's it going? Yeah, it's not bad as far as spinoffs goes. Like I said... 
I'm not a big fan of spinoffs in general. Usually they're just fucking terrible. But uh, it's not bad. Okay, now I'm the closest one again. Shit. Of course Kaba's here. Why wouldn't he be? Also, all of our shells missed, apparently. Dude hits us with one salvo and fucking just neuters us. Still hitting us. All right, we gotta we gotta make something work here. We've got a Kleber here. We've got a Yugamo and a Kaba. Don't have any torps, unfortunately. Like, surely this Schlieffen dies to this Kerber, right? Like... Wait, there's no chance that this Kerber dies to this sh Schlieffen. Oh my god, Kerpers is about to get neutered. All stations, proceed and capture that area. Hi, Battleship. How are you? There's not much I can do here, man. I'm in, like, the worst possible ship for this. There, every gunboat in the game is at, in this match. There's not much I can do. Like, I, I have to, like, walk on eggshells the entire game just to try to make something happen. We know that the Kleber's on my left. Alle Stationen, Feuer auf das Ziel konzentrieren. Like, there's nothing I can really do here. Try to grab the cap and then... Miranda's in this one. This guy's about to go down. I can potentially win a gunfight with this Yugamo. He was low enough that I could engine potentially... Boost. See? There he is. Especially if we get the first shot off. Oh, come on, Gabe. I couldn't get a turn, man. I tried. I tried to turn in. But again, it just goes right back to the to the fact like like you can't you can't play a game 
where you're like the only one trying to actively like go after the destroyers in a in a sh fucking game where literally everybody's in gunboats and you're up against like you've got a Kleber here Kleber had fucking uh reload booster right he could have went in and killed the fucking destroyer immediately using the reload booster and then got the fuck out of there just fine like he literally could have got away with it but he chooses not to he ends up getting some damage on the gk later but like he really hasn't done a whole hell of a lot but eh, it is what it is game over there's not much we could do in that lobby that was literally hard countered across the board when you're in a shima and you get spawned in against three motherfucking gunboats like ain't much you can do about that you gotta walk on eggshells the entire game and just try to make an impact. Just try to do something. We got rid of the uh, torpedo boat. Kaba could be potentially countered because he's going to have to open his guns up in order to make an impact. So maybe he gets countered. But I think that's a loss. I think it's a loss. Let's see. Soul Edge coming in with the one month re up. Appreciate you, my dude. And the Bearded Camel. Interesting name. Coming in with the $5. Appreciate you, my guy. Appreciate you. Am I excited for the new episode of Gen V? I wouldn't say I'm excited. It's it's a nice little distraction while we wait for the new episode or new season of the boys. Also, I don't know if you guys know it or not. Next month, the new uh, the new freaking season of Invincible drops. So I'm looking forward to that as well. So uh, we got some good good quality Amazon content coming out. Have I been playing City Skylines? Uh, I tried. I had it downloaded on PC. I tried to play it. It was awful. Couldn't couldn't play it whatsoever. It was just so bad. So I was like, okay, well I will ask for a refund and say fuck it on PC, and I will download it on console when it comes to console. Um, I guess it's been delayed on console, so no Dr. idea Storms. when it'll come out on console. Dr. Marco coming in with the $2. Have I spun the roulette yet? I have not. I have not. I have not planned on doing uh, the wheel tonight. I just kind of kind of trying to have a good time. Just a good old-fashioned good time. What are you? Minds. Interesting. It's always a good sign when you spawn in. The majority of the game is cruisers. And the first thing that you see is a mines going in reverse. I'll reserve my judgment, but I'm watching you. Like, it's almost all cruisers. And we're top tier. Like, there's nothing to be afraid of for a mines in this lobby. Hell, I mean, you see where I'm going. Like, fuck this, I'm going in. Both our destroyers are coming over here because why would you want to spot for your team, right? Both of them got to go to the exact same location on the map. Oh, they're in a division too. Of course they are. Of course they are. Destroyer in the Bravo cap. We are spotted. Okay, New Jersey's here. Good to know. What is their destroyers? Lay Fantastic and Friesland. Okay, I go for superstructure hits since New Jersey wants to come in and brawl. I'll take that fight, New Jersey. Okay, so Friesland's over here being a little bit of water. He was at 11 kilometers away. What is his range? Superstructure again. Double fired. Okay, 
New Jersey should be dead. We go dark. Here's our first heal. Somebody literally launched deep water torpedoes into a fucking smoke screen that they know is a destroyer. That gives me even more hope for the usefulness of our destroyers. Spotted. Enemy cruiser sighted. Fired. Late Fantastic. Am I missing something? Since when does Late Fantastic have that kind of fucking fire rate? in Atlanta. That makes a little bit more fucking sense. That makes a lot more sense. I was like, since when does a fucking lay fantastic have that kind of fire rate? Dude, we are just getting burnt to a fucking crisp. Ain't shit I can do about it either. Sunshine. Play with fire, baby. Dude, one of these days, I'm not gonna overpin your dumbass. Problem solved. Sir. About to be back on multiple fires again. Torpedoes dead ahead. Uh, I'm gonna try to get as much damage as I can off this little turd. You'd think at some point these guys would get a fucking third fire. Good God. Let's just fucking rehash what just went down. Shall we? Look at all of these fucking cruisers. You got a mine sitting right here, right? You got this guy all the way out here. You got, you got a Friesland that was right all the way the fuck out here because apparently this is where a Friesland needs to be, right? Clearly. <laughs> uh, feels good, man. So, we're uh, we're off to a great start today. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Capri coming in with five gifted memberships as well. Appreciate you, my dude. Always good to see you, Capri. MT, how's it going? Grim Gripper, how's it going? I'm doing good, man. Manny, good to see you. MT, how's it going? Oh, come on. Let's have some fun, please. Please, game. A little bit of fun. They have a Skein. We have a Z39. We don't have any spotting on this side of the map, so we're going to have to go in. 
Might as well just go straight forward. What are the odds? Out of everywhere on the map, they have one destroyer. What are the odds that that destroyer spawns directly across from me? Surely I can't be that unlucky. What up, Bernard? How's it going? Ivan, good to see you. Uh, X Soul, how's it going? Or Cross Soul? JW Son, how's it going? Appreciate you dropping in. Kevin Cortez, good to see you. You just need the the silver to unlock or to buy the island. Nice. How does service cost worse than what is affected? Service cost is the cost that it costs you to take a ship into battle. The higher the tier, the more it costs. There are other dynamic things that can cause it to be more or less. Uh, well, it's never going to be less. It's going to be more. Um, I don't know exactly what all goes into that, but basically the higher the tier, the more expensive it is to take a ship into battle. Which makes sense, right? I got a feeling somebody's watching me. Is that a King George shooting AP? Or is that a crew? That's a cruiser. That's a hundred percent of fucking mines. Or Peter Bag or a Plymouth. It's Plymouth. It's gotta be Plymouth. Smoke screens out there and everything. We're gonna go straight through here, grab this cap, try to put some pressure on the backside of these guys. I do have to be careful about the crossfire here. This guy is gonna go forward. All right, we'll, we'll shoot off the bow. Yeah, there he goes forward. Trigger Arthas. Got to slap him around a little bit. Leon kills our Mogami because our Mogami just sailed straight into the center of the map. Okay, what do we got? Massachusetts off my bow. We know Peter Bag's behind the island. I know the destroyers. So this is the problem. Our team is not moving forward to grab this cap. So it's just me. So I just keep getting reset. Now I've got this Massachusetts here just begging to fuck me up. I'm not careful. Go through the cheek. Not as much as I would have liked. Come on, Amagi. Turn back the other direction. I've been holding the fucking button for 10 minutes. There's the torp. I, I, I don't think they're that hard hitting at the torp. Just need my teammates to actually do something useful here. Can't be the only one trying. I moved up the right side, moved from the left side into the middle to try to grab the cap. Everybody's just sitting there watching that shit.
Go faster, Amage! Trading hit points to gain a fucking advantage. I know it's a crazy concept. It is a truly, truly foreign concept to most people in this game. But sometimes you just gotta go for it. Take the risk, get the reward. We managed to get the center cap, we've got this cap. We took most of the health off the Peter bag, so he's not really a threat. Iowa can't shoot him. This Leon's actually turning in, unfortunately. Of course, he shoots at me, so hopefully I get this base capped before the shells get here. Thing though. It was the last time you got that accurate of a sabo out of your fucking Leon at that range. Might as well hit the button on this. Better than nothing. About 10k. We'll take it. Problem that we're in now is all of our guys are in basically the same location. I think I got that shot off before he went dark. That could be nasty for that Iowa. Yeah, I was gonna say that could be nasty for that Iowa. That looked pretty accurate. Unfortunately, uh, Arthas went down right before those shells landed. Let's see if that eye will get spotted again here. There he is. Get him, Amagi. Dude, I forgot how just, like, non-turning this ship is. This ship just does not want to turn. Get rid of the Iowa. Hopefully. I'll get caught up with chat here in a moment. Ah, come on, game. Will the cruiser kill him? Just make sure he's gone. And of course, I would dev strikes the Surrey. Uh. Okay. Still could go either way. There's still three battleships and a cruiser out here we have the cap advantage problem is we don't have any fucking spotting okay that guy's not broadside so we're gonna hold at that angle we're not gonna get much go ahead and put up Arthas give this guy a little bit of payback Good hit. Oh, uh, fucking plumber. Alright, I don't know why this battleship is just like reversing in front of me right now, but I could really rather you not do this. Also, I have no idea how I'm spotted right now. I guess Veneto? Question mark? 
Like, this is a this is one of those situations where we need our teammates to actually fucking trade some of their hit points if they want to. Uh, I mean, we don't actually have to. Okay, so apparently Leona them can see us over the island. That's how we were getting spotted. So it was King George spotting us. Show. Surely they killed the own, right? We actually hit him. It's stupid. Like, you, you change course. And a little turd burglar is still able to love you. Dead here, that fucking plunder was gonna rip me apart. America! Yep, shot the island. And he doesn't. I love how that works. It's like, I'm trying to fucking shoot him. My shells all hit the island, right? Like, I can't, I can't lob the island. But his shells to hit me do lob the island. But look, this guy's full health. This guy was full health, has managed to throw away most of it. There is actually a world here where we lose the- Okay, never mind. Veneto just ended that. I was gonna say, there's actually a world where we lose this. The Plymouth has ridiculous DPM. But, now that the Veneto's gone, I think this one's over. But, we needed some of these guys with, with more hit points. Like, I don't know how this guy just lost all his hit points. This guy was over half health just like two seconds ago. So I'm assuming he got citadel by the Veneto and he citadel the Veneto. But should be... A oh, he's not even looking. He's not even looking! He shoots at the Plymouth. Swing and a miss. Thank God the Anchorage bails him out. Like... In that situation, you gotta you gotta think, okay, yes, you are aimed at the fucking guy, but this guy literally versus out in front of you broadside. Like you gotta shoot that guy and finish him off. And the best part is he completely whiffed. Yeah, I was gonna say all these guys should have been very, very healthy. Because they didn't have to put themselves in any danger. I did all the danger. Like we we took all the hits for the team. But Plymouth is disgusting, man. That AP penetration is stupid. It's like a better Mino, to be honest. It may not fire quite as fast as the Mino, but it doesn't get citadeled as easily as the Mino either. Did this guy fire his guns in the smoke? Oh yeah, and he's shooting HE too. Because that's what you do when you're shooting at a cruiser, right? Yeah, this guy's literally just border humping broadside right out to. If they shoot the border, uh, I was gonna say, if they shoot the border, there's a good chance that they would just yeet that man. Because he was just parked there broadside too. 
A win's a win. 157,000. We finally got a decent game. Took the Amagi to do it, apparently. Confederate High Cow. Confederate High Cow. Or no, Confederate Dreadnought. And Unsinkable. Is that what that is? Unsinkable? What did he... Did he eat a torpedo at some point? Am I wrong? Am I thinking that... Is that flesh... Is it... No, it's not flesh wound because the guy didn't die, right? What the fuck is that? Somebody gonna have to let me know. I am... I'm lost. But there's obviously another Dreadnought. Dev Strike. First blood... Or... I don't know. Fuck it. I, I'm, I'm tired of, like, looking at their fucking, like, symbols, trying to remember what everything is. Anyway, on to the next one. Um, let's see. Where am I? Capri dropped a five gifted membership. Appreciate you, Capri. Mighty Moose with the $2. Appreciate you. Don't forget to pro punch that like button. You're not wrong. And Abdullah, thank you for re-upping for 16 months. Can we get some goats in the chat for all the folks tonight? You guys are beautiful. Beautiful. Unsinkable. That's what I thought. Like, how how the hell did he farm a fucking unsinkable on a map where he literally... Like, he must have got hit by the skein early with a torpedo and flooded and just let it go. I don't know. I'm confused. I am confuzzled. What have we not played for a while? Have I researched the Columbo? I am researching the Columbo, but it's not done yet. What up, Nick? How's it going? Uh, we already did the Arizona earlier, a -train. It was actually a good game in the Arizona, too. I don't have it. What up, Tommy? How's it going? Daddy Dog, how's it going? Prince, how's it going? Appreciate everybody dropping in tonight. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the stream so far. Sorry that I have to keep hiding the screen from everybody, but uh, I don't really have a choice. Oh, look. There's one now. I unhid the screen a little too soon. Hmm. This map sucks for legendary. I think I'm gonna go left. Try to help that side. What about the Oklahoma? I don't like to go down to tier four. I mean, tier 4 is just too easy. You're beating up on noobs. And again, at this point, you're beating up on noobs at every tier. And hi, Destroyer. How are you? Yes, blow your horn at me. It's definitely my fault. The pyrotechnics begin! Petro. Can you confirm? I do exist. Dude, why is the Petro the What is this destroyer doing? Would you like to go out and do your job, my guy? Go out and, and find something to do. 
fuck's sake. about to get angry. Hey, Destroyer! Hey, Destroyer! Why don't you go out and do your job instead of just following me honking your fucking whore, dude? Seriously. Fucking stupid. This is the shit that I gotta deal with. Like, you just you fucking a division of destroyers, and the dude's just gonna follow me around honking his fucking horn the entire game. Meanwhile, we're down two battleships because they're just sitting here fucking yeeting everybody into oblivion. I don't know if you're watching the stream or what, but like, seriously, dude. Gotta get out there. Literally no reason for you to just be sitting on top of me fucking spamming your horn. Down goes our Yama. Puts out his fire, unfortunately. Uh, Musashi just shot at me, too. Or Yama. Okay, Christopher Colombo. I should be able to kill him next salvo here. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Of course, my shells all dodged the Yama. Down goes our Salem. Christopher Colombo is dead though. Okay, we're gonna hold our fire here. Got another fucking Colombo. Now imagine if I had spotted. Of course, I'm spotted. On the backside of the fucking islands, and I'm spotted. Because the Shima is out here getting fucking targeted. This is tragic. Uh, maybe he got radared by the Petro? I don't know what the fuck's going on. But I know one thing. I can't deal with a, Yam a Yama, a Christopher Colombo, a fucking Petro, a destroyer. Musashi with no spotting. I wish I had AP loaded right now, I'm not gonna lie. I wish I had AP loaded for this guy. Still very effective. Even if you don't have AP loaded, this thing just fucking thermonuclear warheads. If I can get rid of this radar, that gives our Shima a little bit of room to breathe. He was going to reverse. He decided to go forward. Alright, radar down. Kerr first looks like he's going to do the exact same thing that the last guy did. 
Daring just throws himself out here, and I don't have a way to fucking deal with that. Just pulls out. Gets absolutely slammed by these guys. It's three versus four. They still have a destroyer, and we don't. Got a fire. Put it out. Just consolidate and defend the cap. I love that you can't actually get the fucking shit to, like, tell the game what you want it to. Like, the dialogue wheel's there for a moment like this, and you can't actually get it to tell you to defend the cap. Like, I will win a fight with a Yama in this scenario, like, literally every time. Um, we know that that guy already damaged Khan, so that's a perma-double, at least for a couple of seconds. But we're gonna go ahead and shoot him again. Should be a dead Yama. Hopefully we don't take too much damage here. And he just hits us for everything. Okay. Yama down. We know they got a Colombo. We know that they got a Musashi. Speaking of. Baby. We got the battleship with the crossfire right now. Let's get him out of here. Start making our way back to the cap. Colombo's about to go down. Then we got Musashi. As long as our cruiser doesn't die to this fucking Musashi right now. Okay. Eight Fire right as this guy doesn't have the most, the longest fucking smoke in the world. So if we can close the distance here. That battleship can fucking remove this goddamn Musashi. I didn't get close enough, unfortunately. I was really hoping that I was close enough that when he his smoke dissipated that we'd be able to kill him. Right, we're gonna make our we're gonna commit to the turn. Looks like Musashi may be parked right where he needs to to fucking avoid getting blacked by our crossfire. So we're going to exploit his bow. Turn back in. Oh, we're dead here. We're just dead. Oh god, we're alone. 
We're alive, we're fine. We'll survive a little longer, baby. We got our perma fire off on the Musashi. Mino picks up the Kraken, and now it's a Mino versus a Dairy. We did our job. We did everything we needed to do. Now all we have to do is have this guy win the match. We did our part. Oh. Well, the battleship actually wasn't in a bad position. Because he's still in a position where he could shoot. The problem was for that, Musashi, Musashi actually put himself in a good position to keep that, that battleship from shooting him. Um, Musashi, after the uh, Christopher O'Colombo got yeeted, um, this guy was in a good crossfire. Like, I am not complaining about this guy at all. Him moving up over there gave us that crossfire. Uh, if you saw his shot against the Christopher O'Colombo, then you know what I'm talking about. But uh, Mino versus Daring, like, Mino should win this fucking fight every day of the week. Oh my god, Torpedo. Oh my god, he hit him with a torp. Imagine. Oh, there it is. Picks up the six-pack. GG's, Mino. GG's, Mino. We did what we had to do, guys. It's not always glorious, but sometimes you just gotta fucking buckle down and do the dirty work. Look at this fucking 3,700 base XP. And he's an Xbox guy, so I can actually send him a message. GG's. Great game. But, uh, yeah. Main did a, did a good job, too. Putting himself in a position to fucking, like, uh, be in a crossfire late in the game. That was, that was huge. So, uh, yeah. I don't have any problems with these guys. The Shimas, on the other hand, like, dude, come on. That this was the guy that was sp spamming his horn, following me around, and then just charged forward and died as soon as he could. Like, you can't make that up, but, uh, we do, we do our best, and, uh, that time, it was a good one, that was just a fun game, one of those rare fun games that actually came down to the wire, those are the games that I love, and I wish we had more of those type of games, but, unfortunately, that is just not the case, especially at Legendary Tier, um, I don't know if I called out Abdullah, thank you for re-upping for 16 months, my dude, appreciate you, What up, Trab? How's it going? James, appreciate you. Pernapster, good to see you. Jim Leahy, see you out there. Vince Howard, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. If you guys are enjoying this, make sure you guys punch that like button. I do appreciate everybody dropping in tonight. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the stream. Santiago has went to the Alabama in person. Nice. Oh, no. I jump in a fucking German battleship, and the first thing I get greeted with is a carrier game? Rip. Rip! That's alright, though. We'll be fine. It's just a parcival. And it's a tier 8 lobby. What could go wrong? Uh, I have not visited USS Intrepid. I've only visited the two Iowas, to be honest. Um, I visited Wisconsin, a.k.a. Whiskey, and I visited, uh, USS New Jersey. Um, haven't had a chance to really go visit a lot of places. Though, if everything goes to plan, in the near future, I will be going down to visit Cletus McFarland at the Freedom Factory for the 24 hours, the 2.4 hours of lay mullets. That, that's hopeful. I've, I've got, I've got things planned. I'm hoping that I can actually make it happen. Have a good night, DJ. Appreciate you dropping in. 
What up, Commander, as well? Puddin's in the chat. Good to see you. I would love to see USS New Jersey for the sole purpose of going to Hawaii. <laughs> like, I've seen, seen two of the Iowa-class battleships, but I would really like to see uh, Hawaii. Like, that is a beautiful, beautiful state. I think we caught this anchorage turning out, so maybe we get lucky here. Woo! We did! Look at Bismarck go, baby! Look at it go! this guy doing take a shot at the destroyer swing and a miss didn't lead him enough I never end up leading the destroyers enough coming out of a turn like they accelerate so fast all stations proceed to capture that area Now he's going to slow down and try to smoke up. That makes him so good. Mine! Ah! Oh, come on! <laughs> what do I got to do? What do I got to do? But he's dead. All right, let's, let's just move in. Repub. We got Iowa. We got Temporary. Potential sadness for Bismarck, I ain't gonna lie. We're gonna move up. Utilize their smoke screen to help us. No reason to fire our guns here. If we can get to a much closer position, I'll feel better about this. I don't want it! I don't want it! I want it! <laughs> Oh, no. Is he going to reverse? And, of course, Bismarck shows why I just, you know, not a big fan of the Bismarck. And there's Temerer reaching out, punching me in the face. Torpedoes are back, boat. Is a broadside anchorage if I've ever seen it. And of course, we're not allowed to kill it. It'd be rude if we actually killed the little bastard, wouldn't it? Dude, why do we keep getting set on fire? Are you fucking kidding me? It's not the Seattle. Who the fuck shot me? Ouch. He got another gun off. Is it Musashi shooting HE? Surely not. I need to go fucking dark is what I need. Unfortunately, it's a goddamn carrier match, so going dark is like not gonna ever happen in my life. guy fucking looking at me he's not okay about to put out the fire so we'll be fine we high here because god knows we can't pin a fucking musashi's belt at this range with these 15 inch turd wobbles there we go go ahead and heal I can confirm 
he is definitely not shooting AG. Temerair goes down. Set. Just trying to bide our time here. We got another heal coming up here in 30 seconds. Front guns didn't make it. Rear guns did. Am I going to yoink it? Thank God the carrier has kind of like left me alone this entire time. Alright, got our heal. A little bit of a lag going there. Didn't want me to shoot when I was able to. Don't like it. Dude, what is with every one of these guys, like, charging and turning towards the border of the map here? <laughs> like, none of these guys are trying to do anything useful for their team. They are all just running to the border. Get another minute, we get another heal. I guess I'll move forward, try to get around the backside here. Add what little bit of AA I do have to the fucking AA of the mines. See if I can't get over here and help with this repo. Looks like he's about to make the turn, so we'll we'll take advantage of that. over so what happens when one team actually plays together and the other team runs and hides in the same location on the map that was a boring ass match that's what that is getting rid of their destroyer at the beginning was huge all right What up, pineapples? How's it going? Kushti, good to see you. Zachary Glenn, welcome to the Sparsheets. Thank you for becoming the newest member on the channel. Also, I know it's wrong because it says that you've been a member for at least two. So I don't know why it's showing that you're the newest member, but uh, appreciate you either way. Uh, Kushti coming in re-upping for 10 months. Thank you so much, my guy. All right. What we got? Three destroyers. Bottom tier. Hmm. I'll reserve my judgment until we actually see what happens. Zachary Glenn coming in and dropping a $50 bomb by giving 50 memberships to you guys. Thank you guys so much. Get some goats in the chat for everybody. Zach, thank you so much, man. There's a $50 bomb right there for everybody. Hopefully our destroyer will go out and spot. I'm going to prepare to kite here. 
because it's just me and a cruiser with a destroyer. So I don't want to put myself in a bad position. But I do want to make sure we're in a position to help. Musashi, Kansas are over here, and I'm detected. I'm a Wichita's here. What are the odds? The mine, or that's a main. I was gonna say the mine's here too. Wow, that Wichita changed everything he was doing. Fuck you, main. Aim high here on the main, see if we can't slap the shit out of him. I don't think we can sit an element this so oh my god. Good hit. Come on. Get the guns loaded so we can help with the destroyer. No, don't go dark. Don't go dark. Oh, he turned in so hard. We got two hits, though. Okay, Wichita is kind of getting beat up here. Oh my god, now he just slams on the brakes and turns. Ah! You got guns too, Z44! Let's see if we can't slip a shot over the island on that Wichita. Belfast 43. Musashi's here too. So I've got every one of their goddamn tier 8s here. I need intelligence data. All stations reporting the position of a strategic target. All stations reporting the position of a strategic target. What I get for target. trying to help a fucking teammate. All right, well, start rotating the guns the other way. If everybody's disengaging. I can't be the only thing on this flank. I'm going to get fucking smashed here because of this. Kansas, go fucking kite to your fucking border, you little turd wobble. I got so much firepower against me, man, and my destroyers aren't wanting to utilize any of theirs. I think I just best bet is to go dark here. Never mind. Guess I won't be going dark. Somebody's got a fucking plane up somewhere on the goddamn map. The enemy team has taken the lead. We've lost a destroyer, a cruiser, and a battleship. That's a Musashi shooting at my broadside, isn't it? I don't know, wait, that's a witch. Oh, 
That's not the Wichita. Who the fuck else is the oh destroyer? Might be able to go through his cheek. I don't know. He was reversing. Yeah, he didn't reverse enough. Of course, he shoots me. Oh, we need these destroyers to do something useful, man. These destroyers just doing fucking circles in the open water is not helping us. Fuck! Can we keep something lit up, man? Jesus! Oh my god, and now I'm gonna get fucking smashed because I had to wait an extra two fucking seconds. There goes all my fucking hit points. Thanks, dude! Thank you! Thank God you're fucking smoking up 13 kilometers away from a fucking Musashi. As if there ain't a fucking radar cruiser right around the corner from you that could easily light your ass up sitting in a fucking smoke screen. God, I hate people that play like this. It's like, I am the lone fucking battleship on this side of the fucking map, and I can't get any spotting from the two fucking destroyers that are just sitting here with a thumb up their ass. I got a fucking Maine over here, a Kansas, a Musashi, a Wichita. Just fucking get me the fuck out of this lobby, man. If nobody wants to fucking play, then I'm fucked. Like, you guys gotta do something useful, man. I can't be the only one fucking trying. Team has taken they got three fucking caps. Where's the sense of urgency from you fuckers? Like, any fucking chance that you guys could fucking, like, actually get off your asses and go do something useful. Hate this shit, dude. Three fucking destroyers in this lobby. Two of them are still alive and both of them with their thumbs up their ass not doing a fucking thing. Here, I should be dead. Just get me the fuck out of this. Ah, I fucking live. Great. stupid, man. Spend the entire fucking game with your fucking thumb up your ass. Never once trying to fucking, like, make any sort of play to better the team. Like, not once. once did these fucking destroyers try to actually fucking do anything useful. Spent the entire game with their thumb up their ass doing circles. I waste my fucking time. away from this team it's so frustrating man you got two fucking destroyers on your side of the map and they're just doing circles over and over again it's a fucking domination you gotta try to make something happen i am the only fucking battleship against a musashi a fucking main a wichita and a fucking destroyer and you guys are just doing fucking circles over and over again hide in your fucking smoke screens don't do anything useful never try to advance a position just sit there and do circles at some point, you gotta have a sense of urgency, man. You gotta fucking try to make something fucking happen. You're the only ones that can move around the map completely unfucking noticed. Go do something. I don't understand it. It's really not that fucking difficult a concept. <sighs> Frustrating. What up, Meta? You're not wrong, Meta. Also, what up, Chaffee? How's it going? Dewan, good to see you. It's just frustrating, man. Because, like, I know that a lot of these games could be fucking, like, much better than they are. But people just don't ever try. 
They just sit there and they do the same thing for 15 minutes. What am I supposed to do? Charge a fucking Wichita, Maine, Musashi, Kansas? Like, I'm one battleship. I'm just gonna get fucking annihilated. Meanwhile, my destroyers are just doing fucking circles. Never once tried to fucking advance their position. Our destroyer literally runs into the exact same fucking ship and didn't bother trying to use his guns. Smoked up, turned away. General I helped. Quarters. I shot the destroyer the first time. And then he just let him go. Just fucking let him go. Why use your guns in a destroyer when you've got torpedoes, right? This is a shitty spawn. I should go inside and go around, but might as well do the one thing I know I shouldn't do, which is just turn broadside here and hope for the best. We've been spotted. I need intelligence data. Okay, so there's a good chance that the destroyer's over on D. We're not spotted yet, so maybe we'll get lucky the destroyer's not here. Question mark? Helena has put himself flush up against the island, so he's as useless as possible. Leaving himself wide open for these guys right here in this gap to fuck him up. I don't even think a Helena's lobbing that island from that close. Keep our guns ready just in case this destroyer does actually spot something. Enemy more sighted on the horizon. Massachusetts, huh? Fuck! I forgot. I'm in a, I'm in a fucking Missouri. I just tried to use my spotter plane. Oh, but then. Newsflash: Popping your radar in this game does not increase your dispersion. Even though in real life, that's kind of what it was used for. Is Detecting enemy ships and helping you zero in their fucking firing team. <laughs> okay, so we have Massachusetts here. We have a cruiser that I didn't get a chance to see what it was. And we have a North Carolina here. Oh, it's an Edinburgh. Fun. Okay, at least it's not an HE spammer. North Carolina's enemy in reverse. Air Force. If I make, if I commit to this turn, I'm spotted right now. Yeah, Massachusetts can shoot at me. Turn out here. Look at that accuracy from the Massachusetts, though. Pretty good. Pretty good accuracy for the Massachusetts. We've lost a battleship already. All right. Um. Get back. We've got two destroyers in this cap. We've got two battleships and a cruiser over here that's not actually trying to do anything useful for their team. So I guess I will go ahead and start turning back the other direction to try to help where I can. Atlantico's pushing forward. How do you die in a flounder to a fucking summers? this early in the game is unbelievable unfortunately we have taken ourselves out of the fight but continuing to push that side seemed like a bad idea our Helena has just chosen death he's like fuck this I don't want to live anymore so I'm going to charge out after the two battleships nice in the fucking Edinburgh See how that works out for him. Our Ostriotlin has decided to double back. It's two caps to two caps. They have the All points lead because they killed a battleship area. and we killed a destroyer. The fact that this Helena's still alive after just like charging out after these guys is kind of funny. Should have a shot at this 
North Carolina in the near future. to do better than that we know that there's an atlantico here in the middle like all of their firepower is like right here so i gotta be kind of selective with what i'm doing here rip the, rip the helena that man's is a dead man I would love for this guy to just like yeet himself around the corner, but also my Oster Yotland's kind of putting himself in a iffy position. This guy's right on the edge of my range, man. Enemy battleship detected. Oh, Atlantico Atlantic took all the torps. Unfortunately, can't shoot the Atlantico, so we go for North Carolina. We blap the shit out of North Carolina. Get angled. Try to get rid of this fucking Summers. He's at 11.4. 11. Kidding me. Shoot him! You have guns, Vincent! Use them! Lord have mercy! Why do people have to take so much damage? Use your guns! You are allowed to do so! Fire alarm! Alright, now we can punch through the bow of this little turret. I say as we completely whiff and miss him because RN Jesus says no. If he goes broadside, he deserves every bit of what's coming to him. Problem solved, sir. You want to find out real quick how to go back to port in a fucking uh, North Carolina? And of course, he fucking breaks my motherfucking gun the first time he shoots it. And then ours goes straight to his belt. Like, I'm not even trying to fucking overmatch him, right? And then Massachusetts lands every fucking shell straight into the superstructure. Ah, this game can be so frustrating with this dumb shit sometimes. I have a feeling he's gonna shoot my guns again. Okay. He fucked it up. I didn't get the Citadel? Are you fucking kidding me? And then those just hit the water. Oh my god. Keep protecting them, Wargaming. Keep protecting them. Keep protecting the bad players. Keep fucking protecting them. Keep fucking protecting them. I know that I am fully capable of Citadeling in North Carolina through the bow with a fucking Iowa class battleship. Which is why I aimed so low. I'm trying to get into the, the citadel of the fucking North Carolina. But he gets he gets away with it. He just gets away with it, right? He just lives. Not a single fucking citadel. Not one. Straight through the bow. You can citadel the fuck out of a North Carolina. Unbelievable. I love this game. Love this game. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about... The fucking North Carolina has a 25 millimeter bow, just like every other fucking tier seven or tier six battleship. But look at this shit. Where are you at? All right. Look at the distance between the bow of the ship and the front gun. The front gun, for those of you who don't know, is where the fucking citadel starts. 
Okay, look. It's actually just in front of the front gun. You have this much room between the front of the ship and the fucking citadel. So for us to be able to fire 50 caliber, 16 inch fucking armor piercing straight through the fucking bow and not get a single fucking citadel at that distance is ungodly bad RNG. And then for the last shell that we fire to just derp all three fucking rounds straight into the ocean instead of hitting a ship with even a single one of them. Like, come on. It's just fucking bot protection at its finest. Like, the dude didn't play well. Like, he got a lucky fucking break on a gun, and then he just gets fucking the luckiest RNG of his life. To put it into perspective, I regularly citadel the fuck out of North Carolinas that are bowing at range with a fucking Collingwood let alone an Iowa-class battleship at two fucking kilometers. Like, that is insane RNG, man. Like, that should be a fucking dev strike every time. Every time. At those ranges, it should be fucking dev strike city. Like, the dude didn't play well. It's not like he was trying to, like, bait me into shooting his armor belt or any of that. He just went straight bow in. Which is exactly how you get sent back to port in the North Carolina. It's just fucking stupid that the RNG just saves his ass. It's like, nope, sorry. Not gonna give it to you, Spartan. You know exactly what you need to do here, so fuck you. We're giving it to the tier 6 battleship instead. And because of that, I get fucked. And the best part is, the best part is, he shoots his front guns at my armor belt on the way through, fucks that shot up, but the rear turret gets probably two citadels to kill me out of the three shells from the rear turret. <laughs> like the, Just bad RNG all the way across the board in that entire engagement. I cannot believe that I just fucking died in a Missouri to a fucking North Carolina. Like that is real fucking unfortunate. Real unfortunate. <sighs> what are we going to do? What are we going to do with this game, guys? That's just rough, man. Shadow King, welcome to the Sparshoots, my dude. Appreciate you. Have a good night, liquor store. Appreciate you dropping in. I ain't worried about it. I've hid my screen all fucking night. If somebody's waited two hours to try to get back into my game, like that just, th that literally shows you that they have no, they have nothing better to do with their existence. Like to, to hide the screen for two hours and then have somebody still just trying to fucking stream snipe, like the first chance they get, like that tells you everything you need to know about them. And there's nobody here. Wow. I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm actually shocked. All right, so we have a battleship next to us, a destroyer spawn mid, two battleships and a cruiser on the left, one battleship and two cruisers on the right. Worcester, Stalingrad, Giuseppe, Montana. Hopefully this Montana turns to go to the right and then I can go like mid and try to help the left. But we'll see. Kind of losing my voice. What up, Cole? Would I, uh, would I recommend Alabama or Massachusetts first? I mean, it just depends on your play style. If you prefer up close and personal brawling, then I would say Massachusetts for the secondary build. Um, if you prefer longer range sniping, then go Alabama. You can't go wrong with either one of them. They're both fantastic. Mass or Chappie goes full broadside to a Montana and a fucking Yama. Montana blaps the shit out of him as he should. Why is there even a Chappie in here? Who failed the vision? Dude failed the visions with a fucking Lepanto. And a chappy. Let's see how this 
this looks. Looks pretty good, so we're gonna go ahead and get the Arthas boost. Only one fucking gel. Okay, so there's Shima's here. Conqueror's actually shooting AP. I respect it. That was a huge hit on that conqueror. I hate Shimakazi so fucking much, man. Are you gonna give a fucking Shima a fucking fire? Hey, Gary! There's a Shima right here and a fucking smoke screen. Would you like to help? I would appreciate it. That's all we got out of that. And then of course Chappie's still or no, that's a Worcester. And the fucking dipshit eats a horse. I quit, man. I, I can't with these people. I, I legitimately can't. I just can't. Like, you can't fucking make this shit up, man. Why is it that my destroyer players always have about a single brain cell between every destroyer player for the EP? Like, why can't I get one fucking destroyer player that could actually play the game? This guy is AFK as fuck. Oh, Lord have mercy. A good look at the fucking Worcester, unfortunately. Shotgun should be able to get through there. Maybe I yoinked the kill away from him. Oh, leave him alive. That checks out. At least the rest of the team's doing something useful. The destroyer may have been a complete goofball, but. At least we got teammates everywhere else, so can't really complain. Can't really complain. We're chasing the Yama off the map. Interesting choice. I mean, the destroyer did die. Was it the was it the gearing? Gearing got him too. Okay, I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. So fair play, I guess. He they fucking traded each other. One goober deserves another, I guess. I didn't even notice. We just sit here for the next five minutes wasting our time. Because two battleships refuse to push up on a Kerr first.
watch this. The funny thing is, like, Kerfurst is over-angled as fuck right now. By the time I finally get to a position to shoot him, this guy's gonna lose all of his hit points and die. Wow, there's just a casual fucking Worcester sitting over here with all this DPM going ham. <laughs> the game's over. Fuck me, dude. Why do we even bother trying to play Legendary Tier? Why do we even bother, man? <sighs> so stupid. Back down to tier seven. At least we have some competitive games. Maybe we go Georgia. Uh, how is my health? My health's doing good. Appreciate you asking, Bob. What up, Taro? Good to see you. Luna. Half percent war spike from the battleship crate. Is that accurate? I feel like War Spite has been around a long time. I don't think it would be a half percent chance to get it. Bottom tier again. Cog is against us. Much fun will be had. Given that it's a carrier game, we definitely don't want to try to post up behind the island because we'll just get blapped anyway, so we can't move up. Two destroyers, carrier. Petro is kind of a problem, potentially, depending on where he ends up. Obviously, Musashi is a problem. Petro in there for good measure. So we got the Petro, we got the Musashi, we got the Kansas and the Massachusetts over here. Oh my god, even I wasn't expecting that to fucking be a Citadel. Hi, Battleship. How are you? Glad you could join us. Extra level of zooms fucking with me. Oh, now you want to turn. Now you want to turn? Isn't that nice? Thank you. Hayate is right here. I mean, Giuseppe's secondary should do a pretty good job of helping with that Hayate. I don't want to get fucked up by this goddamn Musashi right now. Okay, Hayate goes down.
basically what I'm doing is giving us, giving our dude a little bit of fucking support with AA here. God, if I'd have known he was going to eat every fucking torpedo, I wouldn't have fucking shot at him. Motherfucker. Well, that was a waste of fucking plane. My AA should help fucking get rid of all these. Fuck me. Fuck you, Kansas. Little bitch. Double fire 10k. Oh, now the fucking Palmer comes around the corner. Of course he does. Uh, I'm kind of in a rock and a hard place here. I'm broadside to a fucking Palmer. There's a fucking radar of the god dang Pedro too. I really don't want to make this turn, but I've already committed. Already fucking committed. Kansas is gonna fucking eat my ass, I can feel it. Oh, Kansas went around the corner. Perfect. Fucking Musashi. Battleships would move up so we could shoot these fuckers. Get rid of these fucking railguns. Yep. Use the island to protect me from Musashi. He still fucking lands every one of them. This Giuseppe should just yeet himself straight. Oh, fuck. doing it needs to fucking happen okay never mind that works so now we're angled away from kansas so we should be okay in that sense thought kansas was going to come around the corner if he's not then we will go ahead and turn in i am worried about the fucking musashi more than anything because you know damn well if he gets the fucking opportunity he'll shoot my ass Look at him, immediately fucking targets my ass, and I'm stuck on the fucking island! Dude, I was turned so fucking hard! Ouch. That could have been way worse. Dude, I was turned all the way to the fucking left, and now I'm fucking stuck like a fucking idiot. At least this Musashi... Like, he's targeting me, so these guys are just getting closer and closer to fucking sending him back to port. Kansas goes down. The fact that this guy in the Musashi has had my broadside for so long, it still hasn't fucked me over. It's kind of hilarious. I'll be the bait. I don't mind. I'll be the fucking bait. You little fuck. You're dead! Stop shooting me! Fuck off! Engine boost <sighs> Alright, where's this little fuck at? I'm guessing he's hiding behind a fucking island. <clears throat> I like how the Lepanto gets the fucking uh, clear sky. As if I wasn't the one like doing all the fucking shooting the shit down. 
Like I was doing all the damage and they were just fucking getting the reward for it. I think we'll go ahead and hit the button for that. Oh my god, look at that awful dispersion at the end. It looks so good and then it looked like they just steered away from it. Like the guy's not moving. But the shell's just like, oh, he's right here? Yeah, we're gonna go off to the right. I wouldn't want you to hit the thing you're aiming at. That'd be rude. Oh, he's in reverse now. Of course he is. Of course he is. have a faster reload than the other battleships, so hopefully we get to yoink this. Oh. The fact that that Musashi couldn't fucking do anything to us while we were beached on that island, completely broadside to him, is hilarious. Like that guy needs to go back to aiming school. Like, for reals. Also, it's hilarious that he would choose to shoot me when I'm like at no consequence to him whatsoever. But yet he's getting charged down by two battleships and he won't shoot them. They're the ones that's going to kill him, not me. Oh, well. Oh, beautiful. All right, let's try to get a game to end the stream on. Might as well. But Monty has gone. Mogami, I see you as well. JB is always in the crates. It's just like a 0.05% chance to get it or some shit. It's it's kind of ridiculous. If you're if you're opening crates to try to get the JB, you, you're probably hustle. <laughs> Pick a battleship and fire HE for the entire match. I already did that. I played the Conqueror earlier. <laughs> already did that. Daring Shima. The Andre the Fourth. That's actually the first time I've seen an Andre the Fourth. Every time I see Columbo, I think it's a Colorado for some reason. Like, that's the first thing that comes to my mind when I see C-O-L-O. <laughs> it's a big difference between the Colorado and the Colombo. <sighs> Hopefully you guys are enjoying the stream. It's been a been a fun one. Despite despite my struggles and despite the fact that my freaking voice is like dead. Montana game? Eh, depends on how this game goes. If we have a good game here, I probably won't play the Montana. Because this will be the end. But if we have a, a mediocre game, then I'll probably play the Montana. I do like to try to end with a decent game. It is hard to have a bad game in a Yama, though. Like, it, it's... You have to do really, really poorly to have a bad game in a Yama. Like, 150k is like nothing to a Yama. We have spotting, potentially. He's not quite far far enough forward to spot. We have spotter on the right. But that guy's either in reverse or just too far away. So one of the three cruisers are on the right. One battleship is reversing. Okay. Kaba is now kind of like testing the waters. And now I'm spotted. It's probably Shima. Is it 
terrible salvo. Look at that shit, dude. Literally goes exactly where it has to to do, like, no damage. Also, I don't know if you guys are seeing this Marlboro. Twix guy again. Okay. Didn't leave him enough. Ate a torpedo. Oh my god, can we please spot for longer than half a fucking second? This is so unfortunate. I have two broadside battleships out there. I need fucking intelligence. Go ahead and use Arthas for that one. Go ahead and fire at me, Christopher O. Henri. Okay, I'm gonna start turning left. Good luck, everyone. Oh shit. I need to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Oh, and the moment I shoot, the guy gets spotted. Are you kidding me? I didn't see that I wasn't going to be able to make that turn until it was too late. Of course, we leave the Henri alive. Alright, so we got Agir and Alaska. Alaska is AFK again. Agir is definitely not. We're going to target Agir here. Christopher has turned away from us. What is that? Nice work. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? See it in your eyes. See it in your smile. You're all I've ever wanted. My arms are open wide. Cause you know just what to say. You know just what to do. So let me start by saying I love you. Yeah, that's the first time I've sang today. Don't you like how you pull the trigger on a guy who is stationary and your shells just do everything in their power to avoid him? My dude wasn't moving. There's no dodging. It's just they come out the gun looking all kinds of flabbergasted. Like just nowhere to be found, those guns. Error 404, accuracy not found. That looks a little better. We ended up hitting his belt, unfortunately, because he stopped. Down goes our Kaba. Dead to the daring. Where the fuck is the daring? He has 66 kills, so I'm pretty... I haven't got a 
Alright, so we got a Darien right around the corner from us. We have the Musashi that's just kind of chilling. We got Kerfers kind of sitting in the back. I want to say that this is kind of our moment to, uh... Oh, hold it. Hold it. I need your support. Wait for it. Oh, game. Would you please... Please stop fucking me when I'm shooting at this guy. I can only assume this guy has, like, every single fucking perk under the sun for, like, making my dispersion worse. One shell! Can we get more than one gun to actually hit the target? I should be out of range. Should have six kilometer torpedoes. We were right on the edge of that shit. Oh, we know that the uh, Musashi's around the corner. We know that the Daring is right here somewhere. So, Daring is actually behind us. Sneaky little bitch. Sneaky little bitch. Watch out for the little island. Dude, if this Musashi's right here with AP loaded, I'm about to get yeeted. Yeetus deletus is about to happen. There's a Christopher Colombo, he's still alive. with my Musashi, or what is wrong with my Yama right now? Can I please get some fucking shells to hit where I'm aiming? Please? Hello, Kerr First. You're shooting HE out of a Kerr First. Of course, the Christopher Colombo shoots at me. Kinda worried about this fucking little turd burglar. I don't know if he kept going. Hmm. That works out. Good to know. He sonars me. Going to turn away. Expecting torpedoes to be coming around that corner. Shoot through the gap. Tell me that wasn't beautiful. Tell me it wasn't beautiful. Oh no. Derry pulled out. I wonder what he could be doing. Shocker! He tried to torp me. I would have never have guessed. You die now. Bye bye. As soon as I get more guns, it's the perma. He's gonna get a double perma. Get the double. How's this guy still alive? 
Welcome you to fucking Marco Polo. Do some damage, my dude. I I only saw the one rack for this guy, so I'm assuming he sent more torpedoes after us. Like I said, it's kind of hard to have a bad game in this ship. I mean, we didn't have shit to shoot at for the entirety of the match. We still put up 134,000. And we had terrible RNG. Still get second on the leaderboard. 2100 base. Alright, let's play one in the Montana, I suppose. Imperial Cat coming in with the five months. Appreciate you, my dude. Get some goats in the chat for everybody tonight. What up, Windless? How's it going? Jason wants to be a mega mod. I only have one mega mod, Jason. But I'll be honest. <laughs> I do you a solid. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'll take any chance I can to, to piss off Monty. David, you were in a game with Tactic last night? Nice. That's a name that I haven't heard for a while, I'll be honest. I haven't, I haven't seen a whole lot from Tactic lately. Might have to check in on his channel. I haven't seen him for a long time. Top tier, shocker. We're in a, we're in a legendary tier. We're top tier. Left side Twix is still in here in his Musashi. See if we get a chance to remove him. We got a destroyer, cruiser, and me on this side, so I like I like that diversity. Destroyer's moving right off the bat. Cruiser's moving right off the bat. What is this? Could it be? Kaba too. Kaba's going all the way around the back side of the island. I don't like that. I'll be real honest. I'm not a big fan of that particular play for our destroyer. I'm even less of a fan if he just charges and goes straight into the island and stops. Because he's not doing his job. I need to see the bad guys. One cruiser on the other side, so there's potential for one more cruiser yet. Hello, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I can Get see back. it in your smile. You're all I've ever wanted, and my arms are open wide. Tell me how to win your... Oh, wait. I'm just, like, mixing all the... Oh, my God. Two Montanas here? Hmm. Don't really have a shot, unfortunately. <clears throat> Dude, my voice is a mess today. I don't know what's going on. I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. Free shot, baby. Free shot. <laughs> ah, not too bad. We'll take it. Alright. Um, we found the demon. Our Kaba has decided to start shooting at said Des Moines. It is a bold strategy. Okay, maybe he was shooting at the battleships, question mark. I want to make sure I'm in a good position to counter this Des Moines. If he decides to push... What I don't want to do is go broadside to two fucking... Okay, Ruprecht just got slapped. I don't want to be broadside to two Montanas if I can avoid it. 
But they should be outside of our uh, spotting range. Concentrate fire on the okay, Des Moines target. must have doubled back. Concentrate fire on so the Des Moines. We are going target. to start angling. Should get spotted any moment. All stations. Yeah, the boy double back. Of a strategic target. As expected. Okay, there's their Montanas. Attention, reporting the target position. Boy, I'll be honest, these guys just be sitting here with their fucking guns ready to shoot me the moment I get fucking lit up is a little fucking sus. Little bit sus, I ain't gonna lie. What I don't need is a fucking Des Moines lobbing Mount fucking Everest to shoot my ass. Fuck yourself, Slim Shady. I'm the real Shady. All you other Slim Shaders are just imitators. Okay, the Rex gonna get away. Okay, Montana takes a huge hit here. We're gonna go Super Stretcher. Utilize Arthas. Look at the texture on these fucking rocks. World class. World class textures here on World of Warship Legends. Looks like something out of Borderlands 1. We've successfully limited who can shoot us here, so if we get rid of this fucking first Montana, then we can kind of push out. I do want to kind of keep the guns to the left, though. I wish there was a way to lock your rear turrets and keep your front turrets going. Come on. What the fuck was that, Gabe? Alright, this Montana should be going down though. We do have the cap. Kaba gets the fire. And I'm not even gonna bother shooting him. We're just gonna go ahead and start pulling out. Let's see if we can't get a good look here. Of course Demim is trying to shoot me from way down now double fires me first fucking shot just immediately double fires me. and use our arthas here comes another double fire The fact that this guy's only 12 kilometers away is a problem because he's gonna spot me for the fucking Des Moines and I can't commit to shooting Des Moines because this guy will fucking do right, like, We have to respect the fact that this guy can fuck us up. So the Des Moines gets to sit out there and do whatever the fuck he wants. And Montana actually just got a beautiful shot out with his rear turrets. Unfortunately, he's not good or we just got lucky, one or the other. Don't know which. I'm gonna try to put myself going behind the island to keep the fucking Des Moines from shooting me here. Keep shooting at superstructure. Des Moines actually switched to AP. What the fuck? That was a terrible hit. Okay, Montana shoots it to destroy her. Dude, our team, what happened to our team? I didn't realize our entire team had just fucking folded. 
Like, I thought we were doing pretty well, and then all of a sudden, it's just me, a fucking destroyer, and a battleship somewhere. Okay, well, we gotta use this island. here because I know that the Montana should go dark. Okay. We're going to try to change what we're doing. How am I spotted? Fucking god dang it. They got a destroyer here somewhere. Fuck. This fucks my entire fucking plan up. Here. There's nothing I can do here. I was gonna try to relocate to the other side of this cap and, and try to limit who could fucking shoot me here, but their destroyer's here spotting. Me. And my destroyer ain't done fuck all the entire game, other than like try to open water gunboat like a fucking person. He's doing his best fucking full bearer impersonation. Can you not get yourself killed? Kinda need you. How are you still spotted, dude? Is this guy radared, or is he just getting fucking blind-fired like nobody's business? How can we do this? Right, we got Kamari, the fourth. We got a Musashi, we got a Yaba. We got a dead fucking Kaba, because he just can't help himself. I don't know what this fucking guy did to get himself detected this whole time. But, like, seriously... At least he got rid of the destroyer, I guess. But we're fucked. There's nothing we can do, man. Like, I thought our team was doing relatively well, and then all of a sudden I look up and our entire team is dead. They have two caps and everybody's here. I know nothing about the Henri the Fourth. I'll be real honest. Like, I legitimately know nothing about this shit. I don't know if I can overmatch. I'm gonna assume I can't. I know I'm gonna deny him his fucking kill on me. That I do. He ain't torping my ass. Oh, dude, we just. You gotta have teammates. When your Kaba is the best player on your team and all he did was do circles around you the entire map, like, he, grab, he grabbed a cap, but he wasn't spotting. He wasn't trying to, like, help with, with the destroyer. He did end up killing the destroyer late, but these fucking guys all at the bottom, like, there's your problem. <laughs> like, like, you just, you gotta do more. Like, we didn't have shit to shoot at. We literally had a Montana, or two Montanas, one of which went bow into us, the other one kited away, and then we had a fucking Des Moines. That was all we had to shoot at the entire game. And the team just folds completely. Never even gives you a chance to actually have any any chance of having any fun. All right, let's try sleeping. I want to get a good game to end on, man. We're just not getting it. What, a Bernard House gun? Smitty, Harry, thoughts on Renown? No idea.
Ah, so you were the destroyer, I'm assuming? Like, I, I get it, but at the same time, like, I don't know. I feel like we could have potentially... I don't think we would have won that game regardless because our team folded like a wet paper sack on the other side of the map. Like, we were doing okay. Like, we had a lot of HP against us. Plus, their, their Des Moines was there, so I couldn't be too aggressive. But, yeah, it's just one of those situations. Like, there's not a lot you can do in a Kaba other than open water gunboat. But I don't know what happened there at the end. I don't know how you were spotted... Like, I don't know if you were just spotted by the Henri or what, but there wasn't much we could do there. We just do the best we can and hope for the best. With Kaba's inability to torp anything unless it yellows itself and dies, like... There's really not a whole lot you can do in that sense, but I don't know. It's just a situation where you need your teammates to do better, period. There's only so much I can do in a gigantic-ass Montana when I've got a DPM cruiser and two fucking Montanas to fuck me up if I, if I overextend. Just try to be patient. Put yourself in a decent position. Try to go dark, but we couldn't go dark. And I don't know if you noticed, the fucking Yama was full health, the Musashi was full health, the Henri had over half his hit points, I think, when he came around the corner. So, like, literally everybody on that opposite side died without doing a damn thing. And they didn't do any damage. They didn't know. And now, of course, we got three destroyers. Try to push this flank. But... Gearing. Versus Shima. Daring. So, two of their destroyers are here. by a fucking plane. Where the fuck is a plane able to spot? Of course, two shells hits the target. Down goes our Shima already. What do we have for backup? Montana. We got two destroyers here. We're gonna leave. Yama's not pushing this edge, so we're just gonna go straight into the gap. Hopefully, this Montana follows. I feel pretty confident about our ability to get rid of destroyers here. No matter what happens, that ship must be destroyed! Somebody's radaring. It hits. We've got our secondary booster ready to go. If I can get away with only taking one of these, that would be ideal. Preferably take none of them, but definitely take it one. Okay. That ship must be destroyed. Shoot at the mains broadside. Main goes down. 
Look at all these fucking dummies over here. You got all of these Montanas, the Montana, Kerfers, Yama, all just sitting over here in the gap doing nothing for their team right now. Why would you push around the corner? Like, get back. You see what's there. See, this is the shit that drives me crazy. Like, that guy saw what was there and then is like, yes, I need to go around the corner and die. Clearly. That is the best use of my ship, is to just go around the corner and die. Because you see the Montana, you see the Kerfers, you see the Yama. You saw the daring was going over there. And his best, best thing that he could do is just pull around the corner and just show himself to everybody. Shitty fucking dispersion. Papa backs up to shoot at the Montana. The secondary is working. Come on, give me the fires, baby. Yep. Down goes our Montana. Shocker. Who could have seen that coming? Why would he ever push around the corner like that? That made literally no sense. Our destroyer is shooting his guns on the backside of the fucking cap over there. Not sure what he's doing. He pulled forward and our shells went exactly where they had to to do no damage. Secondary is just chewing him up. Another fire. He decides not even to shoot me, he shoots somebody else. Looks like he's stopping, but we'll take a shot at the superstructure again. Be weird, he's not able to get those shots into the superstructure that I played. Still gotta think about their destroyer. Alright, we're still spotted. It's really not a good way for me to come around this corner. I think our best bet would be to try to turn away. out of that. I'm gonna try to use the island for cover here. Never mind. I see the little turd.
Dude, these secondaries are so disgusting. Like, they really are. I can't wait to try the crystal. Oh, I might get fucking death struck here, though. I was hoping that I could turn back in. Oh, no. Help me, Rhonda! Oh, my God, it's painful. I was trying to get turned back in, and I fucking ran into the island like a dipshit. get the reference of help me Rhonda. Let me know down in the comments below. Ah, please get moving forward and get angled, please. Okay, that's you. I tried to aim high there, but we just didn't get it. It's all right, though. We have the Caps leads. Uh, they have an Alaska to Yama. We do get a couple of more heals, though. The Destroyer's a long ways away from me. Try to put myself in a good position. Teammate, I need your support. Team. Just get back, guys. There's no reason for you to push anywhere near this fucking Yamato. I know I'm doing it, but I need you guys to stay alive. We do have an overmatchable bow, but we also have an extended belt. So as long as the Yama shoots waterline, we should be okay here. Alaska's in the cap. We should have a good shot here at this Yama in a second. And now we have ya or we have Alaska in the A cap. Probably didn't need to waste my uh, secondary booster there. Oh, beautiful. Gute Arbeit. Das war ein großartiges Gefecht. Beautiful. You'll love to see it. Now it's just a very weak Alaska. Very low health. Des Moines has plenty of hit points to easily counter the Alaska. I have plenty of hit points to easily counter the Alaska. So, it's a GG's. Game might end before I get a chance to shoot this guy, to be honest. Radar. Imagine he's just sitting here broadside waiting for me to come around the corner. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get a chance to shoot him. Yeah, he's on the other side of the cap. He's on the other side, unfortunately. That was a great battle. Unfortunate. He ran away from us. But overall, pretty solid good, or pretty solid game. That was a fun one, at least. I don't understand why that, that Montana decided to go around the corner there. But almost 500 targets hit with the secondaries. You'll love to see that. 187,000 damage, mostly from the secondaries. Our guns did a little bit of damage, but uh, that was mostly secondaries. 2,881 base XP because we captured the base as well. Love to see it. And I think that's a solid game to end on. So uh, thank you guys so much for dropping in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Now, let's see what our battle statistics were tonight, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
10. And one, two, three, four, five, six, ten and six. Not not too bad. Not too bad. All right. But uh, thank you guys for your generosity as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Have a great rest of your night.